I'm still tired when I wake up Like my dream's still near Snooze part of my best friend now Get me away from here I got plans, I got things to do Gotta do my hours, do my hours Why is everything so damn hot? Gray skies and rain clouds I postpone Hello internet friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna go on a little walk with the dogs. I walk them every morning, but usually I just show you guys a little snippet of it. Today I feel like walking and talking. I got a lot of things on my mind. Uh, especially because I really haven't been able to talk to you guys for about three days because I was sick. And that's kind of where I'm going with this conversation. I did gain weight, the scale jumped from 155 to 160 in a couple days. Now, some of you guys know that a pound of fat is equal to 3,500 calories. In three days, there is absolutely no way, and I can't do the math right now, sorry, I don't have a certain robot android to tell me the math, but there's no way in three days that I ate 3,500 times five in excess. What I did do is eat a lot of carbs. Now they were mostly sweet potato carbs and I'm very proud of myself for not going for the chicken and biscuit option, the salt and vinegar and chips option, and I tried to find options that I could make at home that would help my stomach. But I also wouldn't fault myself if I did decide to do that. Um, I was sick. Sometimes TLC is the best medicine. But I can also admit that I am pretty proud of myself for remembering nutrition facts, looking up information, and trying to find something that would work for me. Throughout this entire health journey, weight loss journey, whatever you wanna call it, the thing that I am most proud about is that I've spent time learning nutrition facts. So I know I got a little bit of protein in with the choices I made, not nearly enough, but it is more protein than I would have gotten normally. Learning nutritional information has just been helping me make decisions that help me towards my goal. So I'm not denying myself anything. If I really wanted something, I would have said, okay. I would have taken the time to look at the nutrition label, considered what I possibly could be eating that I can make at home, and then making a decision based on that. Whereas before, when I emotionally ate, it was, I want this, I will have this, no one can tell me otherwise. And it's still the same thing. No one will tell me otherwise what I can and can't eat. I'm a grown ass woman. I have to do that on my own. And learning nutritional information is helping me come, oh, someone says it's time for a treat. <laughs> Who's training who? There you go, buddy. What was I saying? Uh, anyway, so yeah, even though the scale went up, I'm still feeling really proud of myself. I am 50% sure the scale will go down once that carb intake kind of gets through, working its way through my system, and I won't be retaining as much water. If not, that's okay. I know I couldn't accurately count my calories. The things that I consumed didn't all stay consumed. So I didn't have an easy time tracking what I was doing, which is why you guys didn't get a calorie count for those couple days that I did vlog while I was feeling sick. I also know that a couple days of not eating the way I want to be eating on an everyday basis is not the end of the world. I can pick it back up today, which I am. Speaking of that, since I didn't get a lot of protein in, one of my viewers suggested adding protein powder to a smoothie or a drink, I can't remember. Come on, pumpkin. You're not getting a treat every five seconds. Um, and I agree that is a great way to get in some protein if you are struggling, if you're struggling to get it in in a more vibe food only basis. I don't know how to put that. Come on, pumpkin, <laughs> Jesus. This dog says it's a treat time. All right, you get one more. All right, now you willing to walk? Let's go. There's certain spots that he thinks he gets a uh, treat at, so he won't move until he gets it. I don't know how that started, but I, I definitely think it's my fault. <laughs> but yeah, protein powder this morning. I am in desperate need of more protein. I know I was severely lacking for the past few days. So I'm gonna make a healthy smoothie. It's gonna have yogurt for probiotics, spinach for prebiotics, blueberries for anti-inflammatory, peanut butter for protein and taste, and then like half a scoop of protein powder should put me good up there. And then just some fried eggs. I don't wanna overload my system with too much food. 
and I know we're having steak which can be caloric based on the cut so I want to save some room but hopefully since I'm feeling better I can get back on track that's the great thing about goals is I can always restart it's not a challenge I didn't fail a challenge and failing can be very demotivating so I try to make sure I don't do challenges but a long-term goal yeah I can get with that it allows me more grace and if I do do a challenge it's gonna be very like knowledge based like I challenge you to read two books about nutrition this month okay well I didn't do that oh well like whatever <laughs> okay so you guys got the plan for breakfast letting you guys know that I am back to uh, my regular routine ish today would be with lifting weights I still need a little bit of grace time I did do my my two mile walk that's good enough I stretched yesterday I didn't show you guys it because it wasn't yoga it was just some mild stretching to get some movement back in my body but yeah I think time to walk Duke and then time for breakfast
right, so I got my chores done today. I've been tracking my calories. Steven's in there making steak. We are doing a, what is it? It's a beef rib steak and we will be weighing it to make sure that it stays within the calorie deficit. And I'll give you the count and today's count after I get done talking to you guys for a minute. So this morning I was still feeling kind of icky, um, but with the combination of some exercise, foods that will assist me with getting better, and some Advil, I'm feeling really good today. I think I'm over the sickness. Like I said, I'm pretty proud of myself for not eating foods that are overly processed while I'm sick, and that's normally my go-to very high in calorie foods that wouldn't fill me up. And like usually I eat like a whole loaf of French bread when I'm having really bad stomach issues. And you know, if that's what I needed to do, that's what I would have done. But I did try other options and it worked. So I'm very happy about that. It's very important to try new things, experiment, but you know, other times it's like, well, maybe just take it easy on yourself. So I think I'm doing a pretty good balance on that. Uh, speaking of balance, Today I did my cleaning and I want to remind you guys that my job is to keep the house tidy and clean and take care of the dogs and cook the foods. That's that's my job. So uh, if you're going, oh crap, I need to clean my house because I cleaned my house, it's not the same thing most likely. You're probably not a homemaker. You probably got a job and or kids and then also have to clean the house. So. Um, my expectations for me are not the same expectations you should have for yourselves in the slightest. I will throw out tips of like, hey, walking in a treadmill if you have analysis paralysis on working out, I think that's the best way to start. Getting knowledgeable about your food is a good place to start. And I'll give you the two main things about weight loss that I think is kind of a tried and true is calories and consistency. Other than that, it's kind of us trying to find our own way. Because as I said earlier, uh, no one is going to be able to tell me what I need to do. I have to make these decisions for myself. If I want a better me, I have to do the work. I have to make the changes. I have to find what works for me. There's assistance out there. There's knowledgeable people, people to talk to. There are tips and tricks on like, it's easier to keep a house clean if it is always cleaned a little bit every day, if you have a schedule, but you know, clean for some people is also different for others. Like I like soap and water. Some people like Lysol all over the place. It's a different thing. One of the beautiful things about humans are that we are vastly different <laughs> while also still having an average. So that's weird. But I think that's going to be it for today. I'm in, I'm feeling really good about today. I'm feeling high spirits. I got my work done. I felt really awful about not having anything done all week, but I'm really happy that I was able to bounce back from it and just accept that, hey, I was sick and let's move on. And so move on we shall. That being said, let's move on to dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm still tired when I wake up Like my dreams still near Snooze spot of my best friend now Get me away from here I got plans, I got things to do Gotta do my hours, do my hours Why is everything so damn hot? Grey skies and rain clouds